Hi everybody, good afternoon. I would like to do a quick video today on Babesia. Uh, Babesia is one of the co-infections that can occur with a tick bite. Um, and it is something that is very hard to test for. Uh, there are, are over, I believe over a hundred different uh, strains of Babesia that you can get. And I know that whenever I had my blood work done, um, with my specialist, she tested for two. I'm not sure why only two. Uh, it's it's hard to even get a doctor to test for <laughs> for it. Period. Actually, um, she's an ILADS doctor. I'll do another video on on what kind of doctors that you all should be seeing if you uh, think you have Lyme. But I L A D S. She's an ILADS doc, and so. I came up negative for Babesia, but we didn't do a blood smear. We just did um, just a regular blood draw, you know, like a lab draw, whenever you would go and have any other testing done. Um, and like I said, it came up negative, but there's a whole host of symptoms that can come along with it. Uh, one of them being symptoms that are cardiac related, and that's been one of my biggest struggles with uh, struggling um, through this whole Lyme disease journey is uh, I've gone into AFib two times and other than that my heart rate oftentimes will just bump up to 130 beats per minute and for no reason at all and uh, my blood pressure goes up along with it and the thing you have to worry about when you do go into AFib is throwing a blood clot so it's very important that um, you seek medical attention right away. I go to the ER, they put me on a Cardizem drip um, medication into an IV, and they get my heart back into what is called sinus rhythm by doing that. And um, as soon as they get me stabilized, they discharge me, and that's that. So a couple of things. So when you are on an antibiotic regime for Babesia, there are two medications you have to take simultaneously and typically uh, you will do that for 21 days uh, you may have to repeat that treatment right now I am a week into it and I have noticed a significant improvement in my health um, I am taking bear with me I'm gonna get my glasses on here and um, have a quick look it's called Mepron um, M-E-P-R-O-N it also goes by uh, can't even pronounce it to, to tell you the truth. It's A T O V A G Q U O N E. Actually, I don't know that that's a G. I think it's a Q. A T O V A Q U O N E. Uh, also known as Mepron. It's a liquid. And then the other is azithromycin, and it's in pill form. And so I have to take those two twice a day. Um, and like I said, I want to do that for three weeks, but one weekend I'm noticing a big difference. The other thing I wanted to share today is whenever I do start to feel my heart rate and blood pressure increasing, obviously I check it. I have a thing here at home, a blood pressure cuff that I check. Cute hair, huh? I like that. I'll take that off. It looks like, like a goofball. Um, I like to lather myself down with, uh, it's, it's a magnesium gel. I believe I just got this at like a, one of the local health places, if you can see it. Um, so I will put this all over my body and I have a um, infrared sauna that I go into and I will go in for 30 minutes and sweat like crazy. Uh, I immediately then go right into the shower uh, and rinse everything off because you are detoxifying. Uh, you're getting a lot of those um, impurities out. You don't want to reabsorb them. The other thing that I do, and I do this twice a day religiously anyway, is um, this powder I got from the local uh, here where I live down in Beaver County outside of Pittsburgh. Um, it's called the Health Hut, and so I get it there. So. This is um, magnesium and there's some calcium in it as well. And it is amazing. So I'll, I'll do like a teaspoon and a half 
mixed in with some organic juice and I'll slug that down. If I do those two things when I'm having a cardiac event, it stops it. At least it has the last few times. And so I highly recommend um, that approach. But Babesia is very hard to diagnose. And so you need to find a doctor that is going to listen to you, that is going to try to understand your symptoms and diagnose you based on those symptoms, not just on blood work. Because of all the other medications I was taking leading up to this, because I have so many other problems, it wasn't working on the Babesia. And as soon as I started taking medications that were geared towards Babesia treatment, I'm getting better. It's a huge difference, a huge, huge difference. My heart feels better. My brain feels better. I don't have uh, the drenching night sweats. I don't have the chills as much. Um, there's just a whole host of things I would recommend. Just doing a little bit of research on symptoms if you know if, if you are struggling with Lyme disease. So that's my scoop on Babesia. Um, I'm gonna do another video here in a minute because I, I wanna talk separately about um, the tinctures that I'm taking. And I want that to be a separate video in case nobody really cares to hear about it. If you're not into that sort of thing. And I have my own herbalist um, that makes, makes stuff for me. So there you go, a little one-on-one -on, -one on Babesia. Everybody have a great day, sending you love and light here from Beaver, Pennsylvania. And um, I'm not really sure how all this stuff works. I guess if you have questions, you can leave them, um, leave them below and I'll certainly answer anybody that I can and help any way that I can. Okay, God bless.